Hello, and welcome to The Daily View. Today we're going to take a look at the South Node Way. And let's take the example of the nodes of today. Uh, we have the South Node in the 50th gate in the 6th line. We have the North Node in the 3rd gate in the 6th line. So what we're looking at is that here is our street. And at one end of the street, the South Node end of the street, is called the Gate of the Cauldron. And this is the Gate of Values, and this is the Gate of the Law. So one of the things about the nature of the environment that one's going to move through in the first half of one's life is that one's going to have to deal with values. One's going to have to deal with the law. One's going to have to deal with taking responsibility. It's going to be years and years of having the potential of responsibility thrust in your direction. But more than that, whenever we're looking at a way, whether it's the south or the north node way, what's really important is also the line. It's not just enough that we know the name of the street so that we know that there are responsibilities to be faced and values to be dealt with, intelligence to be gained, strategies to be developed, all of those as themes out of the 50th gate. But more than that, what we're dealing with is we're dealing with a, a sixth line. And in dealing with the sixth line, it, it, the sixth line itself goes through a a, a process of Basically, being very aloof, there is an aloofness to the sixth line. This is all about being a role model. It's all about being a leader. It's all about being an example. So there's going to be this pressure, and there's going to be this pressure throughout the process, whether it's at one end of the street or the other end of the street, because the line is going to be the consistency. You know, the name of the street's going to change, but the line is going to remain the same. And so there is going to be this, this pull by the very geometry to be pulled towards example, pulled towards leadership, pulled towards the expression of those values, the expression of taking responsibility. Now, it doesn't mean that one fits well on one street. It's going to depend on the design. It's going to depend on your unique design. It's also going to matter whether or not that node is active in the design in the sense that it's part of a definition or it forms a definition itself. To see that your nodes are defined in your design is to recognize that, you know, this is an active principle for you. You know, this is what is necessary for you to fulfill in terms of your own purpose as yourself. And yet at the same time, your nodes may be in a definition, but the definition may in fact be split off. It may not have a consistent opportunity to generate or manifest. In other words, it's not just simply a matter of saying, all right, this is the street that I'm on. This is the direction that I'm going in. But also to be able to recognize that you have to move along that street according to your nature. It's very important, not so much to be able to grasp in any kind of detail the the nuances of what you will meet in that generic expression of that south node way what's really important is that you operate correctly you know if you're going to operate correctly then you're going to be able to fulfill the potential of the geometry that you've been given because as you can see the geometry is an imprint I mean, it's not like you can get out of that neighborhood. You know, you can reject it as you move through it. You can refuse to accept the values. You can refuse to take responsibility. You can refuse to be an example. You can refuse to be a role model. You know, but you're just caught in the binary of it. You still cannot escape that environment. You cannot escape that street that you're on. And of course, whenever you see the limitation that's imposed on us genetically, you have to realize that, you know, railing against it, screaming into the wind isn't going to help, nor is it going to help to try to deny it. The only thing that actually works is simply to operate in harmony with its process. It is, after all, the geometry that is pointing you towards, in many senses, your purpose. It is your fulfillment of your purpose that can only take place within the context of this geometry in this life. And so, as always, to operate correctly is the only key.